There are two types of control mechanisms associated with digestion. They are neural control and hormonal control. We can have a look at the various neural control mechanisms of digestion. Digestive system has its own nervous system and it's known as enteric nervous system. It's formed of two nerve networks, namely myentric plexus and submucosal plexus. Now let's have a quick glance at the histology of gut. In a region of the gut is formed of four layers of tissues. First and innermost layer is the mucosa. Second layer, outer to it is the submucosa. And third comes the muscular layer. Finally, the outermost layer, serosa. Muscular layer is formed of outer longitudinal muscles and inner circular muscles. In between these muscle layers exist a network of nerves namely myentric plexus. In between the muscular layer and submucosal layer, another nerve network exists and it is the submucosal plexus. What are the functions of these nerve networks? Myentric plexus mainly controls the movements of the digestive system. While submucosal plexus controls the various secretions and local blood flow of the gut. Let's dive deep into the specific activities of these nerve networks. Myentric plexus causes increased contraction of the gut wall and increases the rhythm and rate of contraction. As a result, there will be increased peristaltic activity. Apart from excitatory signals, myentric plexus also produces inhibitory signals. These inhibitory signals control the activities of various pincher muscles associated with gut. Submucosal plexus controls local intestinal secretion and local absorption. It also controls the local contraction of submucosa, which causes the infolding of gastrointestinal mucosa. Finally, we can have a look at the role of central nervous system in digestive activity. This is the myentric plexus and this is the submucosal plexus. Both these nerve networks have neuronal connections from sympathetic and parasympathetic systems. Apart from this, sensory neurons originating from intestinal epithelium passes messages to submucosal plexus, myentric plexus and to the central nervous system. Based on various signals, brain and spinal cord communicates with the digestive system through sympathetic and parasympathetic systems. Parasympathetic system stimulates the activities of the enteric nervous system. This in turn increases most of the gastrointestinal activities. Sympathetic system produces effects that are opposite to the parasympathetic system and inhibits most of the activities of the gut. Strong stimulations of sympathetic system can literally block the movement of food through the gut. Three factors Irritation of the gut mucosa Distension of the gut and the presence of certain chemical substances in gut can stimulate sensory neurons originating from the gut epithelium. We can also look into the important reflexes associated with digestive system. First one, reflexes that are managed by enteric nervous system. Here, the stimulus originates from the mucosa and is passed on to enteric nervous system. This reflex controls gastrointestinal secretions, peristalsis, etc. Second type of reflex originates from the gut, passes to prevertebral ganglia and back to gut. Examples of these reflexes are gastrocolic reflex, endrogastric reflex and colonoileal reflex. Third type of reflex 
travels from gut to central nervous system and back to gut. This reflex is effected through the vagus nerve. Examples are pain reflexes and defecation reflexes. That's all about neural control of digestion.